Hi, I'm Bruce Justine with Seasoft Scuba, and you're with Seasoft Scuba today as we look at lead shot. In scuba diving. Now, obviously, you know that we use lead to create neutral buoyancy. A lot of people say we use it to create negative buoyancy, but if we actually use it to create negative buoyancy, we'd, we'd never come back because we just, we just sink. We actually use lead to create neutral buoyancy. That means that I can easily go up, I can easily go down. So we, we do it to create neutral buoyancy. And here's the thing with lead, is most of you know, lead is a toxic material. And there's a difference in the lead that you can buy from different companies. Again, most of you don't know that, and I'm here to tell you what the differences are today so that you can make a, an informed decision when you buy products that have lead shot in them. Now, as far as I know, every company besides Seasoft Scuba sells just plain lead shot. And what I mean by that is it's lead. Nothing but lead. It's lead formed into what we call, most of us would call shot or BBs. A lot of people say call it BBs. And uh, it's lead formed into small little balls of lead and they put that into bags or they put it into different forms. Most of us would, would see it in bag form that we put inside our buoyancy compensators. What Seasoft does, it's different, is we want to create a barrier between us and that lead. So what we do is we coat all of our lead in graphite. Graphite is a benign, non-toxic material that coats our lead and creates a barrier between us and the environment, or I should say between the lead and the environment and between the lead and us. We do that by tumbling the lead in graphite and creating that thin micro layer of graphite around the lead shot. And I get asked all the time, well, how long does it last? Well, it depends upon how well you take care of your products. If you are one that takes your lead bags and just throws them in the corner, and you let that seawater sit on top of the lead shot, it'll, it'll eat through the graphite faster than if you drain your bags of lead and allow the water to drain away. If the lead's allowed to, to dry, then it'll last for years. But if you don't, so we usually tell people it'll last for two to five years. But that's not the life of it. But let me tell you, if you've got lead next to your skin starting on dive one, or you've got lead next to you two to five years from now, I know which one I'd choose for myself and my family. I'd, I'd pick two to five years. So in a second, I'm gonna have you see the difference between the two, and then you can decide for yourself which one you'd prefer to have for yourself. So as you can see, the uncoated raw lead on this side has a dull appearance because, well, it's simply raw lead and you can see that it's uncoated and has the appearance in this is toxic that's just raw lead the lead on this side which is the lead right out of Seasoft's supplies is coated with graphite it actually has the appearance of what you'd see pencil lead have if you remember pencils from school it has that shiny graphite look because that's what you're seeing. You're seeing lead coated in two layers of graphite. And that's what gives it that shiny appearance. So that's going to keep you much safer from the toxic effects of lead having that graphite be that barrier for you. So if you don't want raw lead next to your skin and you want to protect the environment, you probably don't want this raw lead. You probably want graphite coated lead and you'll find that in seasoft scubas lead filled products i appreciate you watching this is bruce justine and thank you very much